Hi guys and girls on YouTube and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to be talking about Panasonic Bosch and Neff microwave ovens. Um, now if you repair microwaves on a regular basis you'll know that the Neff and the Bosch uh, are actually made by Panasonic. Uh, in fact they use this inverter board um, which is a very common failing on these. Um, now in years gone by I've just put a new board in um, but because at one time these boards were relatively cheap but these boards now are actually very very expensive they're getting harder to come by um, and at one time Panasonic did produce um, a repair kit for these boards uh, which consists of a couple of transistors and a capacitor um, but I've found from experience that most of these have had the, the capacitor fitted at the factory um, and there's only one transistor that fails uh, which is the 60 amp 1000 volt IGBT. Um, now these kits are actually no longer available. I've managed to find somebody who's got, uh, I think it was about nine kits left. I bought them all and that's it now. Um, so when these are gone, they're gone, that's it. Uh, now the IGBTs, um, there's loads of these advertised on the internet, but I've never come across one that's genuine. Uh, they've all been fake. Um, that's a totally fake one. It's got the right numbers on, but it's just a pair of diodes. Uh, that is a brand new one I bought. Well, it says it's brand new, uh, but it's actually been sanded down and it's had new numbers applied to it. So that's a totally fake. So no matter where you get these from, on the internet or a distributor, I've always found them to be fake. Um, now, I bought these. Uh, these are interesting devices. I've not bought these to use. I've bought these for evaluation purposes. These are actually used ones. Uh, now, if you look at it, they don't appear to be used uh, at first glance because uh, there's no solder on the legs. Um, but I've bought them as used, so I've not been conned or anything. Um, what's happened with these is they've been cut from a board and they've had new legs welded on. Uh, that's why it's actually a genuine part that's been used. Um, but if you look in the holes, you can see heat sink compound where it's not been cleaned. Um, but like I say, I bought them just for evaluation because I've been looking on the internet and there's some university, I think it was in America, um, uh, tends to suggest that IGBTs, they deteriorate over time um, and the, the characteristics change and that's why they blow, not because there's a fault. So I bought these used ones just to do some tests on. Um, but anyway... So the whole point of the video is um, I've been um, as they when these are gone that's it. So uh, I don't want to be putting fake parts into people's microwaves. So I've been looking into an equivalent part for these. Now I've actually found what I think is an equivalent. Um, I've tried it once and it worked fine. But what I need now is I need um, a faulty microwave or even a couple of faulty microwaves to carry out some evaluation tests and to use one constantly perhaps take one home and use it at home, use one in here um, before I actually start um, fitting these replacement parts um, now I don't have a microwave at the moment and I don't really want to play about with a customer's microwave uh, just in case anything goes wrong so I actually put a message on FreeCycle um, and I said has anybody got any Bosch, Panasonic or Neff microwave ovens that don't work that they want to get rid of and i was contacted by a lady and she said yes we've got one she said it's working um, but it's got rust on the door and we're a bit concerned about using it she said we were going to have it repaired um, but we've been to the shop she said and uh, they're only 450 pound for a new one she said i'm sure that's a lot cheaper than what we actually paid uh, for the one we've got when we bought it um Anyway, that was that. She said, um, I'll contact you in a few days when the new one's been delivered. You can come and take the old one away. So I thought, great, I can start experimenting with this. Um, but in the meantime, very coincidentally, the very, very next day, um, a customer brought a Neff microwave oven in for repair. Uh, now, this looks like I've done loads of these in the past and it's always just been the inverter. Um, but usually they run for about 20 seconds and they stop. Now the guy said, um, this one, is uh, it, it, it all goes round, the turntable goes round, the light lights up, the counter counts down, but it doesn't heat up. Now I'm thinking that's very, very unusual. Because with this particular looking one, I'm going to say looking model, uh, and I'm sure you've seen these before if you repair microwaves, 
Um, when the inverter's faulty, the transistor shorts out, it blows the fuse, so the microwave's dead. Um, so I was a bit surprised when he said it's all working, but it's not heating up. So anyway, I get the lid off this microwave, feeling confident I can fix it, because I've still got nine of these repair kits left. And guess what? Shock horror. It's not made by Panasonic. This appears just to be a cheap Chinese one that looks like the old Neff Bosch Panasonic one. So look at that. The inverter board's gone. Uh, we've just got a standard capacitor, which incidentally, this is the fault in this. The, uh, the insulation's broke down between that and ground and it's blown the fuse. Uh, a cheap Chinese magnetron. And if we look at the control board, the manufacturer there is, I don't know how you pronounce it, Midia, Mydia. Uh, but when I look up the spare parts listing uh, for this model, um, it suggests that that is the manufacturer for it, uh, which, as far as I know, is just like um, a cheap Chinese microwave manufacturing company. So I was absolutely horrified to see uh, that on the face of it, it looks like the good old Panasonic one that made them for Neff and Bosch, but you're actually paying now for just some cheap quality goods. So I'm wondering now if uh, maybe Panasonic um, have dropped the inverter idea. Um, I don't know because this is the first one I've had in, of these in. Um, I wonder if they've dropped the inverter now and they're just having these made up and badging them up. So anyway, that's that guys and girls. Um, if you are interested in uh, this modification I'll be doing, um, I'm hoping when I get this microwave in, uh, maybe in a week's time or something, uh, we'll come up with another video and I'll show you how to replace the IGBT with something different. Alright guys and girls on YouTube, many thanks for watching my video and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.